What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today I have another um, Lego Marvel video today. My, final, my last video was the Lego Marvel um, Minifigure Monday, which was basically Minifigure Showcase Monday, which I will be coming out with one next Monday, hopefully. Um, I do have some ideas. It might be another comic book one. I'm thinking about doing a Spider-Man marathon. Who knows, though, around April, maybe. Um, doing a whole bunch of old cartoon figures, but that's beside the point. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to build a better of every single Lego Marvel minifigure, uh, Winter Wave 2021 minifigures. Now, the reason why I didn't do the video of showing you every single figure that they gave us in 2021, well, A, some of the pieces, I don't know where they are because I've updated them and it took forever for them to come. B, there's already a video out there, um, which is Mini Superheroes Today. He did the Winter Wave figures, which if you guys really want to, just look up Mini Superheroes Today LEGO 2021 Marvel minifigures. And you'll come up with one. It's called Every Lego Marvel 2021 Minifigure Winter Wave Sets. Now, it's probably what I'm going to call this. But, um, I will be showing you how to build it better. And there are some figures that you have not seen before. There are some figures that are kind of similar to very own ones. Or they have their own videos. Now, I will be making a separate video for one of these figures. Because it's so complicated to get through him. Just him himself. You're probably knowing who I'm talking about. The most interesting one out of all. Um, but I've already made figures on a lot of these figures. And some of them you can just upgrade by two pieces. Some of the figures I cannot update because A, I don't have the pieces. B, um, I don't... I have the piece, but I only have one of it. I don't have two. So you'll see what I'm talking about. Without further ado, let's go on to the first figure, which are going to be the Marvel figures, and we'll go on to the Avengers figures. So without further ado, let's go on to Spider-Man. So for the first figure we have here is Spider-Man. Now, there is a way to update Spider-Man, but they're on, I guess, kind of rare minifigure legs. These are Jay Garrick's legs. And, yeah, like I was saying, these are Jay Garrick's legs. Now, if you either remove the printing or you put a blue hip right here like I don't know Spider-Man figure like right here you put a plain blue hip right here and you sand off the side or um, erase the printing on the side of the feet you have some really good printed Spider-Man legs but there's two reasons why I did not do this there's one the one reason I only have one of these figures I don't have duplicates and I don't feel like um, in a couple weeks or years, I'm going to want to make a Jay Garrett custom. And um, I don't have these legs. Or Namor comes out with some boots with red boots. I don't know because he has fins on the side of his feet. So um, this is some kind of rare printing, um, which is pretty cool. Two, they don't have webbing on here. So automatically not good. And the homecoming legs weren't even accurate too dark blue with the red boots because they didn't even have webbing on there so that's why i think that these legs are perfect so the torso head arms and hands are all from the 2021 spider-man you can get it from the cheapest set you can get it from the hideout set that's not out yet that i'm totally gonna buy um and then the legs i just got some dual molded legs off some old spider-man figures because i think that this works really 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 well for spider-man but yeah now let's go on the next figure which is ghost spider Next up is Ghost Spider, and of course I did position her with her skateboard because it's my first skateboard, so anyway. But getting back to the figures, so Ghost Spider is probably the hardest figure to make for you guys, but I love how she turned out. Um, if you guys don't know how to make this figure, um, what happened is I got, a knock I got a knock off Ghost Spider, and what I did is I took the arms off and the legs and the hands and decided to put them on this one because I knew I was going to buy this Ghost Spider. Now, she does have some hip printing, which is pretty cool, and some back leg printing, which kind of connects really cool. Um, sometimes it doesn't. But these le these arms and hand legs are knockoff. Now, you could... There are no legs that could work really well for Ghost Spider. There's only black legs with pink boots, but she wears blue slippers, which this isn't even accurate because she doesn't have, I don't know, the things around it. But this is just a cool figure for Ghost Spider. I do have the knockoff hood, which has printing on the inside, but... Let's be honest, this was awesome. Um, I did try this on my Moon Knight figure, which I do have my Moon Knight figure right here. 
Um, here's the here's the what the hood would have looked like if you took the regular ghost spider, which as you see, it's good, but it's not perfect. Um, here's what the Moon Knight figure. Here's my Moon Knight figure. Yes, I know the cape looks um, old, but it kind of doesn't work good for Moon Knight because it looks too, I don't know, um, girly or something. But I know it's on Miles, but it just doesn't work. I think this works more for Moon Knight. But some figures, I think it works for this hood and some it doesn't. But yeah, this is a really cool figure. You do have the web printing, but it's 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 fine. It's, it's pretty um, cool to have her on the skateboard because then she could skateboard around. But yeah. Let's go on the next figure, which is going to be Miles Morales. So here is, if not the best Miles Morales that we have ever gotten. And I love this figure. This figure is great. And you might be saying, well, what's wrong with it? Why is he, um, what happened to legs? The whole figure. Yes, this whole figure is from the Lego sets. Why? Because A, it came out of the box perfect. And B... These legs are so hard to update because there aren't no gray legs with black boots that are printing on it. So that was an automatic no. Now, I do have legs that would work really okay for him. But let's, I have the legs like laying around right here. But here are the Winter Soldier legs. And you might be saying, Winter Soldier legs? What? They're plain black. No, these are one from the Bricktober pack. You put these legs on, they don't look good because there's a thing on the side. So again, racing some exclusive printing, so I'm like, no. So I'm like, no, I don't want to use these legs. Besides, I'm going to use them for something else. I might need a Craven or something that I need those legs. And then I there also is Jurassic World dark red legs with red boots. I don't have that figure, but I will show you what the figure would have looked like if you did use those legs. Yes, this is being shown on a computer screen, but as you guys can see... This looks um, really good for Miles Morales, but yeah, those those are the legs I'm talking about. From They're from Jurassic World, but I do not have them. I don't collect Jurassic World, so yeah, now let's go into my figure. So that's why I didn't use them. I'm sorry that the screen was terrible because I used my computer to show you guys. So sorry, okay? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, not sorry. <laughs> um, but anyway, I just think that this figure it looks perfect as it is, and... You guys don't need to upgrade it because if you really wanted to upgrade when it was in the f video, yeah, you didn't have the hood on. But who cares? Okay, that's Lego Boy 95. So, me Super Ace today takes a lot of inspiration from him, but doesn't give any credit. That's the only person he gives credit to, but the other people he never gives credit to. So, yeah. Um, so, if someone comes out with a really cool custom, um, like from the, the Kree Captain Marvel suit, um, Nico 2064 came out with the idea. And. He just ripped it off. Use Mr. Freeze's legs for the Kree suit, which I got really mad at. But yeah, now let's go on to the next figure, which we're going to go on to Ghost Rider. Kidding. Just wanted to do a tiny comparison of how these figures are different. Um, but yeah, now let's go on to Ghost Rider. So here is Ghost Rider, and the only thing I updated was gave him a chain. And um, I actually updated the chain from my um, uh, minifig, um, minifig Monday Showcase. I gave it a little flame. That's that's kind of all I did. But the legs are from Rinsler from John Legacy. You could keep the hips, but I don't have the hips. Um, they were completely sanded off and destroyed. But yeah, that is him. And um, I did show you guys a update of how to build a better version of version of him. So yeah, you guys can go check that video out. But yeah, that is Ghost Rider. Now we're gonna start to get on to the Spider-Man villains. First off, going with the villain in the set, which is Carnage. Now. I know what you guys are going to say, this figure's great. What do you have to update? Um, and you're probably saying right now, if you guys know, um, that this carnage is cool. There's one thing that I need to update. The arms. These arms, man. I was looking through my collection, and I only found one of these arms. One of them, only one to set. I'll show you it right now if I can find it. If I can't find it, then I'll just say that I have it. So here it is. I only found one of these arms. Yes, there are dents on it. And I was actually pointing to the exact arm. But as you guys can see, you guys can put this arm on here. But I kind of don't want to because if you kind of put it on there. Um, yes, I know the arm's in the way. But if you kind of put it on there, it doesn't really work because the old Carnage had way too much black lines on it. This one doesn't have that many. So... It would have been like one or two or three black lines on here. If you put it on there, then it kind of looked like, uh, and then it looked like, ah, on the side because there's like, there was kind of like, this is a veiny look, and then on the side, it would have looked really strange. But I think that Carnage is okay. 
Um, so we got him three times, and the old Carnage, I think, in my opinion, is way better than the new one because, well, I like the pink mouth. The red mouth is a bit weird, but if you put the head on there, again, it would look, uh, and then, ah, uh, on the top, which it kind of does look, ah, uh, on the top, but it, it wouldn't look right. It would just look like, it wouldn't look right. It would look like you tried to take white paper, and then you took a different coat of white paper on top of that one. It wouldn't look right because they're not the same color white. The one's lighter white and then one's dull. So you see what I mean? Like, I mean, this figure's cool, but I think the arms would add more detail to it. But again, I really, I think this is okay. If, if, if this is your only carnage, I think that you, you're you're fine with these. But yeah, um, it kind of looks cool without it. But yeah, now we're gonna we're gonna go on to the next figure. Which is one of my favorite figures, and then one of the figures I'm like, I need to update him to make the best version of him. Um, which is going to be Mysterio, but now, yeah, but let's now go into Mysterio right now. Yeah, here is Mysterio, and here's his little all thingy, but we're going to take a look at the figure, because the figure is the one that I kind of, a lot update. So here is Mysterio, and... I'm about to point out a lot of stuff about this figure that you guys are probably not going to want to... Now, yes, I know there are dings on the side, but I'm going to show you this figure. And the Lego gave us this new fishbowl, but they won't give us arm printing or leg printing. Now, this figure, half of the figures that I need to upgrade him, I don't have. So, one, one thing you could do is go the Mini Supers a Day route and get... The pizza guy's arms, which have green sleeves with yellow gloves, and then you could go with the surfer dude or whatever, green legs with yellow boots, but then the gold doesn't look good, so then it looks kind of awkward, and it looks too, like, out there. It doesn't look good, because the gold up here doesn't really match with the yellow, which you guys are going to show how to build a better 2021 Mysterio, which is basically the same one as the old one, but just fishbowl, and that's kind of it changed. Or you can get the Hawkman legs, which have green legs with gold boots, but it's of course goes the route of Hyperion, which Hyperion is a figure which have red boots with gold, red legs with gold boots, but the printing on the side is gold, so the front, it's, it's gold legs, but green on the front, that's it, and that looks awkward to look at. Or you could paint gold boots, or Sharpie gold boots, but then either don't look good, so it's not purist. And then you could take dark green legs with gold boots because you could take these Mysterio legs from the Far From Home figure. You, got, you can put that on there, right? That would look fine. But then that's not the same color green. So as you can see, it's a really hard thing to update this figure. Please tell me in the comments below if there's anything that you can do to update these figures without anything that I did not say to update. Because these legs I got from Riddler because it kind of adds a bit of printing down here. But I suggest... In my opinion, I suggest just taking these legs off. It's from the Riddler Racer, which is a very old set. Um, oops, the power blast came out. You know what? Yeah, you could just do that, which I'm probably going to stick with because it doesn't look right. It's just, it's so hard to update them. But the only thing that I'm happy with is the fish dome. So if I take this helmet off, if, the, if it cooperates, which it did, you have this white head. Now. This head is not any ordinary white head. You probably know what I'm getting at. So, this is actually a head that I'm about to show you in a couple minutes. Which it will take me a long time to set up. But you guys will be able to see it very fast. So, without further ado, I'll show you the big magical thing that makes this Mysterio, if not the best Mysterio. And you should try this at home if you have this head. Which probably... Um, a lot of you guys don't have this head, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys in a little. Now, I don't think you could see this on camera that well, but this is actually a glow-in-the-dark head. Let me, let me, got, let me show you a bit. So, you really got to try this yourself. I'm in a dark room right now. That's why you really can't see anything. Well, this is a glow-in-the-dark green head, and this is a fishbowl that's blue. It's not clear. It's blue, and you put this over it, and it actually looks pretty cool. Now... Um, it is dying out right now because it dies out really fast, but I'll glow it up again and show you guys. Yeah, as you guys can see, it looks super cool, and then it also looks cool when you turn on the lights, so yeah, let me turn on the lights right now. Yeah, I completely kept the figure here, and yes, it is the same exact head. This is the same exact fishbowl. Now, glow-in-the-dark stuff doesn't actually turn out good on camera, so it looked like I had a clear dome over, 
which there is an actual figure. But as you guys know, my clear dome that I have is actually with, um, but yeah, as you guys can see, this is, this is filled with nail, uh, the legs, this is filled with nail polish, which yes, it is, it is the best way to make him because it, it, it doesn't fall off. But yeah, um, in the, in the thing, you, you have to try this yourself because on camera, it looks like I had a, uh, I was actually looking what you guys were seeing, um, but it looked like a, a clear head with, um, yes, I know it looks awkward because this is the Batman head from the, um, it's that four or five dollar, um, not five dollar, Lego's not that nice, um, ten dollar or something set with Batman versus Superman with the armor thing. I sanded off the head to make a Black Panther custom because I took the, you you might be saying, what not? The knockoff Black Panther helmet I put on top, so it looked cool. But then I needed yellow eyes, and I decided not to do it. So then I took the head, this head out and I threw it um, in the corner. And then a couple days, I was searching for some Legos, and I found it. So, yeah. Um, in my opinion, um, besides, even if you have the dome on, it looks misty. So, and at night, you're really not going to be able to, like, at night. It only works for so long. Like, right now, I'll try to charge it up to see, show you guys what it looks like in the day. It really doesn't come out through the camera. It only, and yes, I know, Mysterio. Um, it looks really cool. That's the only best part I like about him. I know I'm spending a long time on Mysterio, but he's one of my favorites. Yeah, I just charged it up right now, and yep, it does not look good. But yeah, now we're going to go on to the next figure. But you're going to start off with Marvel. We're going to skip Doc Ock because we're going to go to him at the end. But yeah, now let's go on to the next figure, which is Captain America. So these next figures aren't going to be really that hard. So the torso, arms... Um, shield, head, and helmet are all from the Captain America mech armor, which I did make a video on. Go check out that video. I actually did show, uh, make a video of this, um, comparing which one's the best. He got second place. Miles Morales actually got first place. The only thing I added were the homecoming legs, which that was it. But yeah, now let's go on to Thor, which the same exact thing with him. So basically for the Thor figure, I took a red cape, the torso, arms, and hands. Um, wait, torso, arms, and hands. Mjolnir head and helmet were all from the new 2021 thor i added a cape and i added these legs which are the mandalorian legs but yeah now let's go on the next figure which is going to be dr octopus so if you guys really don't know how to make this figure by now if you're not a big time subscriber on this channel then you probably don't know how i made this figure now i actually made this figure like pretty simple actually it was pretty simple um, I made, I think, three videos now with this figure. The Lego Spider-Man PS4 Doc Ock. This can be the third video. The second video was the Lego Spectacular Spider-Man, which was four days ago. Um, which today is Friday. Um, and then this is the third video. So, and you guys really, this is a figure that you guys have seen for a super long time. Which I did skip one of the figures, which, dang it, I just remembered I skipped Sandman. So, we will look at him, but... I, I'm kind of glad I skipped him because we're going to be looking at him a bit later. Now, you got to position his hands real well, and he does look like he's lunging, but just um, like many superheroes today, these arms are the worst build. Like he said, these arms are, if not the worst build I have ever seen, which they're not. These are, if not the best arms. The other ones, the reason why the little tiny arms are not good, because you cannot put him like this. You have to give him more. You have to give him more of the Technic pieces, which this one... You can clearly stand up, just like himself. Um, you have to give him, like, four Technic pieces in the front, and then four Technic pieces at the bottom for the clip ones. Also, the other ones are too ginormous, and they're so, like, open and weird. They just don't look good. Um, fun fact, that these pieces that they're connected to are actually are the little claw things, these pieces, in the old Doc Ock figure, which is from Doc Ock Tentacle Trap, which, in my opinion, this is first, the second is that one, but and then third is those claw ones, because... Um, yeah, this is, if not the best. If LEGO used this for every single Doc Ock they have ever made, I would not have a problem with it. These arms are gr great. They have good posability. You can pose them, which is pretty cool if you pose them in the right way. Of course, you can close the arms. You can punch Spider-Man. You can do so much stuff with this. And I made a whole video on this, like, weeks ago by now. I think in January. But, yeah, all I did is I added the torso, head, and hair all from the new Doc Ock. The legs are from the Aquaman figure, which I actually saw someone making a custom Scorpion figure, which they they sharpied and painted um, green boots on here. But, of course, someone said in the comments, uh, 
Take that off, which, yes, I know what you're saying. Uh, why did you take, why did you not take the printing off this figure, but why did you take it off this figure? Well, Aquaman, you can get him on $5 on BrickLink. This figure, you have to pay almost $100 to get this figure by himself. That's how much uh, the Bricktober pack figures are rare. Um, but I just added one of these pieces more, and then I added grates all over, which I found a new silver one, which is pretty cool. But yeah, now we're going to go on to Sandman, and then we're going to go on to the final thing, which is not going to be that much updated. But yeah, let's go on to Sam. So Sandman, wow, he's actually one of the figures that I worked really hard on. Uh, this figure I actually had planned months before I actually was going to get him. Um, he's actually backwards, so um, yeah, let me let me fix that. Um Oops, yeah, there we go. Um, but this figure is actually super cool. And um, I will make a separate video on him because he is so complicated to... Um, I guess I'll show you guys here. Um, but it will be a longer video, so I will make a separate video on him. And if a uh, much recent video, a uh, new video. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to show you guys him. And hopefully you guys like my... Um, custom version of him because i think legos did okay on it but it didn't do the best so yeah that's why i think that he is one of the um, cooler ones that i made but first off the torso on um, the torso i guess we'll get rid of his mallet um the torso um is in the this leg piece and some of this build is from the 2021 doc uh not doc Hawk minifigure torso and then the this leg piece are from the sam man minifigure this base, half of this base, some of the base, and I built it some myself. Um, this catapult right here, and then this, um, yeah, this catapult right here. Um, that was kind of it. And then this bottom piece was all from the new 2021 um, Sandman set. So, um, yeah, so you could take this off and you put it in here, which is a pretty cool build. I wish this was um, not gray, but it kind of looks cool for that thing where he kind of is absorbing, like, everything. Um, but the arms I got um, from the Lego Robin figure from, oh my god, the Joker Land. That was one of my um, favorite sets. This head is Kite Man's, it's the best, but I hate when this happens to the figures. The eye gets chipped. When the mouth gets chip chipped, it's okay, um, because as you guys can see, it's fine. But when the eyes get chipped, then I'm like, okay, this is going to be his head from now on. Um, then the hair I got from Cedric Diggory, because I think that this looks really cool. Um, if you really want to build like normal Sandman, just take off this legs, uh, put it up back on here like this, which is pretty, I love this Chima legs, they're, they're so cool. Um, but then just take some random, uh, brown, dark brown legs on the side. And there you go. You have your regular self front Marco, but you don't because you have sand on this front, which why Lego? Why? Um, but I guess we'll take this out of the way for now. Um, the Sandman mallet is actually a really simple build. Um, all I did is I took a uh, a block piece, um, not a cylinder. No. A block piece, not be um, because a cylinder would have been too... Um, it wouldn't fit his, to his hand, which is a play feature later, which I think Legos should consider. And then I cut off a brown pole. I think it's actually a whole pole. Yeah, it is actually a whole pole. Um, and then I put that right through here, and then I took two of these pieces. Hold on. Uh, I do not what, know what Lego bricks are called. Um, I took this piece and then took two of it and then put a slope on the back to create the, one of the mallet parts. I actually got some inspiration off the Harley Quinn figure. Same thing on this side. And then what I did is basically just do this and do this. But yeah, yeah, it looks really cool and you can barely see the brown in there. And then the reason why I didn't do this um, part because it doesn't fit into his hand. And if you put it on his hand like this kind of, it wouldn't look good. I just like it in his hand because in the Sandman, in the Spider-Man comics, he has um, this. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. But, yeah, now time to go on the final build, which is kind of not a build. It's just how to make it better. And, yes, he does not know how to stand on here. here. Uh, I'm sorry. He does not know how to stand on here. But, yeah, that is it for Sandman. Now we're going to the next figure, which is going to be a surprise. For the final surprise figures, we have the drones. Now, the reason why I added them is because I wanted to show you guys my new base. When you display them in the set, I'm only going to take one off because... Okay, guys, that's good. I'm only going to take one off, but when you display this, it ain't going to look good if it's sitting on the ground. I mean, 
it it's asking to get run over. So that's why I, I made these bases, which I wish I had two of these mirror pieces because I had to do a bit of imp in improvising with this one. Yes, they do fall over sometimes, but I took a whole bunch of clear pieces to make a stand. Uh, so a minifigure can stand between them. They are too oversized for Far From Home. But yeah, I think they look super cool. But yeah, now time to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This is kind of a finale to the 2021 minifigures because you won't be seeing these figures a lot in my videos anymore because, well, it, I finally did the video I wanted to do for forever. You will get a part two to this. You will get the spring sets. That is sure. So, no, you won't actually get the spring sets. Now, um, the Thanos the, the Thanos and Iron vs. Iron Man set, probably not going to get because... That set sucks. So I'm probably going to get the three mechs for next uh, March that came out like years ago. Because I didn't get them. And it has the Thanos figure, which is completely better. I don't care for those little power blasts things on the feet. They don't look that good. So I'm probably just going to show you how to update the figures from the Spider-Man hideout set. So probably not even going to do that because the, the Green Goblin figure is almost perfect. Except the scales. So yeah, probably not going to make a sequel to this video. If I do, then it'll be, it'll be super cool. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's almost a 30 minute video. I'm so glad that you guys sit through. You probably only went to one of these figures that you really wanted to show, which is Mysterio or something else. Probably my favorite figure that I did that updated was Doc Ock and Mysterio neck and neck because Doc Ock's figure is perfect. And then this figure, the reason why he's not up there is because the legs. And the only thing I like about him is the dome, which is probably the best part about him. Um, the the this the figure that came in the set the helmet that they the head that they gave him was a gray which was a completely awful choice for that they should give the head that they gave in the junior set um the metallic head was kind of nice not to get but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video please comment subscribe to the notification bell and i'll see you guys later probably monday for um any figure monday showcase probably a bit earlier who knows but yeah i'll see you guys later in our video peace out and bye